60 and I felt like I was five. I felt like Bob the Builder up there. That was, that was pretty awesome. So many of these properties that have been designated for demolition are just sucking the life out of neighborhoods. I mean, these trailer parks are symbolic because this is just the tip of the iceberg. But think about all the people that ride by here two and three times a day. How can you feel good about yourself or your community when you see these things sitting here? I don't live in this area, but I do pastor in this area and a lot of the members of our church uh, do live in this area. Being a pastor, I can't just care about one area of Columbus. I care about in Columbus as a whole. And so to see that efforts uh, have begun you know, on this side to do the cleanup, it just gave me a great feeling. Also, uh, to be honest, that prayers have been answered. This year, the mayor you know, shocked all of us and said, hey, and we're going to have a million dollars in the demolition budget. And I'm just, you know, I'm, okay, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Just knowing that, you know, we hadn't made it to budget at all. This is in January, and he's saying that it's going to be there. So I'm glad that him and council and the city manager were able to see it through and make sure that it was there. And uh, we just wanted to pay good on that promise. We told them if, we, if they gave us the money in July, I said we'd be tearing something down in July. This is the last day in July. But... <laughs> I did tell them if we got it ready, we would we would find a way to spend the money. And knowing that this is one of the biggest ones we've been getting complaints about, it was it was um, suitable to this be the first one.